pulled in the comedy store Was looking for some chicks I just need a place Where I can have some sex Said Booker, can you tell me Where a man can do a set She just frowned and walked away No was all she said Take a drug walk, Annie Take a walk with me Take a drug walk, Annie Annie Esther goes both ways Welcome back to 10 Minutes of Shab. Join the Patreon. We do have an interview with uh, uh, Haphazard on the Patreon this week. So if you want to know what the life of a top poster is like, tune in for that. Join the Discord. And then also, last thing, um, we put all the episodes on Spotify. A lot of you requested that on YouTube. So we did that. But that's not why you're here. Today, you're here to watch uh, another 10 Minutes of Shab. So start the timer now. Tight. Well, uh, you know, as everyone may know, they're probably tuning in to see what we think about uh, Mr. Lion. Right, right, right. Nothing big happened this week on uh, the subreddit, right? That's horseshit. Nothing, nothing big, nothing gay, right? <laughs> nothing happened. No, I, I uh, yeah, no, we, we we're going to talk about BGL and we all the posts that happened. You know what I was thinking about before we play the clips, but well, the timer has started. Um, when it comes to like how you feel about BGL, being on the Reddit, it's it's tough for me. We're I'm new. I'm I've I still think I'm pretty new. It's been probably like a year of me being on the subreddit. Gerardo's a little bit more of an OG homeless cat, you know. You or at least you like paid attention more. Yeah. But if you want to know what I think, I think that if you're evaluating what to think about BGL and you want my opinion, big if, I think you got to go to the core values of the subreddit of PF Chang's look yeah. at what, what they say. And one of the core values was making his face blur, uh, blacked out and then also making his voice distorted or blanking out his voice. So that's one thing to look at, Yeah. but it's important to also go back to what we've heard from Bob himself. One of the major core values is that you can hear things both ways. Yes. Right. So I can see there's the, some people say it's a civil war, you know, one side doesn't want any BGL stuff. The other says, you know, this content's pretty funny. Give him a chance to maybe like a, a second chance because of how awful he was. But now he's coming out releasing texts and all that stuff. So it seems like the quintessential both ways situation. Yes. But my last thing I want to say about this, and this, ser- this is a serious point I want to make. The most important core value that I've noticed. I was about to say this. Is whether the post or the content what we do is Netflix or Blockbuster, right? In the end, isn't that what really matters? I wasn't going to say that, but yes, that's okay. true. That okay. is 100% but, true. Yeah. All right. So second most then, what would you say? Well, the number one thing mm-hmm. that matters most on Chang's, say it with me, sir. We don't fucking matter, dude. Oh, d- yeah. No, you're right. You're That is the first. Yeah. Sorry that I forgot that. I'm a little redacted right now. You know what? It's important that you remember, but- mm-hmm. We go through tirelessly trying at Timos, 10 minutes a shot. Yes. We try our best to keep BGL out of all of our content, mm-hmm. right? And the problem I have with him is that he is attempting to matter, dude. You think so? So it's him trying to matter. Oh, right yes, now. at yeah. all times. And you know what? The only thing that does matter, it doesn't have to do with anybody, mm-hmm. is the AMA. Never saw it because it hasn't happened yet. The right. AMA, we were recording this a day before the AMA happens with right. Mr. BGL. So we don't know whether there will be Netflix or Blockbuster. Yes. All we know is that we don't matter. Yes. And with that being said, start the clip. <laughs> okay, Mr. Whole Foods. I know. Yeah. Uh, okay. So for the first post, these are all posts. We only have three posters today. <laughs> we have Hella Mark Harley. Who is, I don't know who that is. Do you know who that is? No, it's probably someone pretending to yeah. be him, right? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So the first post here is, that's not very nice. Um, it says, uh, it's a post here. Go ahead and read it, Brendan. So, all right. Um, as you can see, that's not very nice. It's posted by Helen Mark Harley. And then the the little AVI is um, 
was it Aaron uh, Aaron Rodgers? Because it looks like Sean. Hernandez. Aaron Hernandez. Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, brother, I don't like the way things went down between us. You're a great friend to me. Working together makes it fucking tough. Uh, let's meet in person if you're down when I get back. You should be proud of yourself. Thumbs up emoji. I made a point of making the uh, white, not the yellow. There. Yes. And so, and so Marg replies back, so should you. And then three yellow thumbs up. Yes. You were, and then, and then Shav later on goes, you were my friend, man. And then Mark says, you weren't my friend. And Shab says, maybe I didn't handle certain things always right as a boss, but to go on a podcast for what? Question mark. And Mark says, you treat people like shit across the board. Damn. First of all, missed opportunity by Mark. When yeah. he said, uh, you should be proud of yourself. He should have said, I don't matter. <laughs> so he like completely takes the yes. pers- this perspective of a uh, automatically. I would have been on Mark's side if he did something like that. I don't matter. Yes. Yeah, and then he know because he knows he's going to post it. Yes. You'd think Mark would do that because he's always talking about how he's like yeah. secretly DMing and getting yeah. running games and stuff. If he was like us and into the you know making jokes on this stuff, he would use the lingo. Yeah. But he only he doesn't yeah you know, he didn't he wasn't thinking. Also, another thing, too, I never really wanted to see Brennan Chop texting because I knew I'd be let down that he doesn't text how he talks. I wish he would have put Pauled cast. You know what I mean? <laughs> right? Well, that that would show self-awareness for Brendan. Yeah. If he, that would be very strange if the CTE <laughs> made him also write like he sounds. Yeah. Like, that would be too much. It would be like, what kind of CTE <laughs> is this? CTE. Oh, oh, really, dude? <laughs> Are you in on this, Brendan? <laughs> You're right like you sound? I don't know. So uh, what do you think about this? Okay, you treat people like shit across the board. He says, that's not true, LOL. Mark says, hey, dude. Shop says, it's all good. Wish you the best. <laughs> kind of, That's kind of like an F you. Yeah. You know, that's like, yeah. So, and then Mark writes a whole lot of stuff. He says, you realize you're going around the country telling people I send shitty dick pics. First of all, if I went around the country telling people that you sent shitty dick pics as a, a comedy set, would you be upset? No. Exactly. Yeah, who cares? Anyways, keep going. I would well. I wouldn't want people thinking I sent dick pics, probably. Yeah. But I, yeah, no. It, it would be. It wouldn't be this big a deal. Ha ha, fucking pussy. The moment shit gets real, you need to be honest with yourself. You don't trust me like shit. You treat everyone like shit, and I try to explain that to you, but you're not interested in hearing that. Man. Um. Yeah. This is. A, it seems like a real fight, though. Yeah. Yeah. They're. Well, cat fight. Let's be honest. This is a cat fight. <laughs> you think they're cats? Yeah, no, they're cat fighting. It's like, you know, right. they're not fighting with hands. They're fighting with words. Twitter fingers type thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it would be interesting if they, well, as as you know, we don't support violence, but it would be no. interesting. This could be like on Triller, like a Logan oh, Paul, yeah. Jake Paul kind of fight where they train. That'd be, that'd be, uh, that would be Netflix. So that was uh, three days ago. And mm-hmm. then two days ago, which is a day after that post, he posted something that got uh, uh, blocked by the mods, I believe. You can't really comment on it anymore. But he posted this uh, uh, DM with a Redditor uh, called Redditbility. Mm-hmm. And uh, he said, Lion, could you just F off, please? I know that you are lonely, but nobody wants you here and nobody cares about you. And then uh, again, he's missing out on the shabisms. Mm-hmm. And he responds with, is that a quote from Mean Girls? Which, yeah. you know, this was like, I think this is where the Civil War started, in essence. Mm. Everyone wants to know what BGL has to say. But why is he posting this screenshot? You know what I mean? Who posted this? BGL. This is all oh, BGL, BGL posts. Thing. Yeah, I mean, that's not like, the. it's not a good enough comeback to be like, check this out. Yeah. Isn't this good? Mean Girls is from 2007 or something. It's yeah. from a long time ago. It it's also clues you reference. in. It clues you in to what BGL wants. Right. He wants notoriety. He thinks that he To go has back it. to the 90s. No. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy that all these homeless people that comment on this have internet access too, right? All these homeless cats. Like, yeah. how do they even... Yeah. They don't have homes mm-hmm. or they work at P.F. Chang's and they're like high, high speed internet <laughs> and they can make all these videos and stuff. Yeah. What, how do they have time to do it? Yeah. You're making this orange chicken yeah. and then you're also editing clips of Bapa being like, big guys can't fit in cars, but uh, yeah. I don't know how they fit in cars or whatever. Well, it is the size. Obamacare section of Reddit. That's why. <laughs> um, so this next post from Hello Mark Harley is Brendan just sent a podcast via iMessage. What's nice. up, brother? Um, decided to send you a voice note and decided not to text you. I don't, you know, for a few reasons. Um, 
I don't know, man. I've, I've been contemplating whether hitting you back up. Um, <laughs> you seem really upset, obviously. Uh, I'm hurt, man. If you wanted to hurt me, you got me, brother. You definitely got me. Um, I don't understand it. I don't. I still consider you a friend. Uh, it's it's weird. I'm I'm not even mad. I'm not I'm not even mad. You know, I'm not even mad. I'm not. I don't know why. It's weird. I'm not mad. I'm just hurt, man. I'm sad about it. Um, you're a friend, man. You're a really good friend. You don't have a ton of friends. Um, it is what it is. <laughs> I hope you're doing okay, brother. I hope you're doing So um, I, what I'm wondering, because I've heard this before, is that a redaction there? Oh, like he edited it? Yeah, yeah. like there's silence twice in this clip. I don't know. There, There's so much going on. I, um, there are like... Are you, I hope you're okay. A lot of the stuff that he says sounds like it could be a shop comedy special. I hope you're okay, brother. I'm not even mad. Yeah. Contemplating. Yeah. Contemplating is a new, uh, one of the people in our discord, Jess found it contemplating. Um, it's, it's wild that Shab is so stupid that he would send this message to Mark. Yeah. You know, he's like, I, I'm sending a voice memo for obvious reasons thinking like that Mark won't immediately save that message <laughs> and put it up yeah. for us to laugh at. Yeah. It is, it is sad. I'm not even mad, brother. I'm not even mad. <laughs> like he's going to appeal to this insane narcissist <laughs> who's never shown any kind of like uh, emotional intelligence whatsoever. Yeah. And <laughs> in, uh, in Hella Mark Harley. I mean, his Hella is in his name. He, he is only about himself really. Right. Mm hmm. You think he's going to not download the voice memo and share it? Yeah. After he told you that you treat him like shit and you didn't pay him? That's the thing that Shab does that's really bad. Not paying people for stuff? Yeah. That's like, that's real bad. You know, I would never do that. Well, let's finish off this uh, text message here. If you need anything, I'm here. I don't know what you're dealing with. Um, something told me to hit you up despite all the bullshit we're dealing with. I hope you're okay, man. I truly, truly love you like a brother. You were great to me, man. You were. You were a good dude, and um, I miss you, man. I hope you're okay. I doubt you text me back, and it is what it is. You have, you know, you feel the way you feel, and that's valid if that's the way you feel, man. And I wish I could change that. I don't, I don't know what to do, you know. But uh, yeah, I hope you're okay, man. That's it. This does kind of sound like the voicemail that Aaron Hernandez would leave one of his victims <laughs> yeah. to like trick them into coming back so he could kill them. Yeah. I picture Shab, I wonder, and I want to hear what you think, but I picture Shab, he's like sitting at a table. There's an empty bottle of Tiger Thick. Yes, of That's sweet nectar. He's got a gun in his hand. He's like saying this sort of like pretending, you know, and he's loading the gun like, I'm going to use this on, yeah. on Marg. He's a... Or just him being drunk and stupid. Why? Or, or is there a war room? Is it like him and his trusted advisors, like Chin and the hot chip guy and whoever else is at Thick Boy? And then they have, they're coming up with their plan for how to uh, get, you know, get Mark Harley back, but someone else just walks in the studio like normal and interrupts yeah. him. Yeah. What do you think is going on? How, like before this or during this voicemail, voice memo, what do you think is going on? Well, first of all, I don't think there's any advisor in Nijibai. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Because they would automatically tell him <laughs> not to you could it. just record this. It doesn't matter if you're sending it text mm -hmm. or an audio message. Yeah. You could just screen grab this whole thing. Right. Somebody yeah. with best brains would be right yeah. there telling him that. Yeah. So I believe this is Shab on his own accord mm -hmm. um, talking to Mark Harley. Yeah, you got the best brains, but you figured it right out. I'm, I'm being dumb, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really, dude? <laughs> <laughs> From Mark Harley again saying, just found out Brennan's legal team wants to send me a cease and desist for violating an NDA. Mm -hmm. uh, let's read this uh, this okay. message exchange, which, by the way, it's redacted who it's from, right? So we don't know. So we don't know who's from. We don't know who's talking to who. And hopefully he knows if I get a cease and desist, I will literally wipe my ass with it and post the video to my IG. Now, yeah. you know, he's really obsessed with like getting a cease and desist order and wiping his ass with it. He says that in another post after really? this. Yeah, yeah. He really wants to put it in his butthole. But he's pretty, thea <laughs> he's very theatrical. I'll yeah. say that. Yeah. You know, Harley, he's a, a big shower of, uh, he does big things, you know. Yeah. His, he, he gets huge and then, 
haters will say the podcast has huge letters, you know. Yeah. And the sketches are always like real blown out kind of stuff. Uh, but uh, that's what he does. So it says, ha ha. Yeah, C and Ds are for pussies. So he's definitely talking to a me head. Yeah, he's, I don't know who, yeah. Um, I'll literally slap your entire legal team. Fuck, I'm so thuggish. It's honestly crazy, T T B Q H. Maybe To that's be quite a, honest. Oh, wow. To put the Q in. Yeah. That's a very, very that Mark Harley move. Yeah. move. Yeah. yeah. That should probably be blanked out, honestly. Yeah. You know, like the redacted, the five things. Yeah. Um, BRB getting thug life tatted on my dick that has gills on it from all my steroid use, like Brendan's hilarious joke about me. Yeah. Ew. Yeah, he's real bad. Yeah. It, I, I can't imagine having a text message with a, a friend of mine and them using cringe stuff like this. Mm -hmm. I'm like, someone stole my friend's phone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, fuck, I'm so thuggish. I don't know what that, I don't know what that means. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's uh, that's blockbuster. Chain. Yeah. Hey, photographer, sirs. Yeah. You're blockbuster. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this one's called don't push me. Uh, and it's a email to Brendan Schaub, uh, entitled, uh, seasoned exist, which is his Brendan Schaub is for season. Okay. Assist. So that's funny. Yes. I'll give you that. That, yeah. that might be the first funny joke, but good. So good. Hey, dude, heard your legal team wants to send me a cease and desist letter. Don't stop them. Encourage them. Actually, no need to send. Tell them I'll pick it up in person. Take a shit on the senior partner's desk and then wipe my ass with a document and live steam that bitch. You see what I'm saying? He spelled he's, steam. Right? Yeah, yeah he's, he said steam. Yeah. It's just, why Why is it necessary to wipe your ass with a cease and desist? You know what I mean? Also, he's using... Um, Law firm language is like somebody that watches TV, you know, yeah. they're like watch Law and Order or like uh, Suits. There's not necessarily a senior partner. That's just a, mm -hmm. anyways, please do this. I live for this kind of conflict. I live for this kind of destruction. Please continue to make stupider decisions. <laughs> I bet you prayer emojis. I beg you. I beg you. Make sure to forward this to that entire bitch ass legal team that's wasted a million dollars this year. Helping your irreparably helping you irreparably destroy your reputation. Yeah, it sounds like somebody on kratom, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So uh, deductions wise, where are you at with BGL? Like, what do I think? Yes, you know, I I'm sticking to the core values. B mm -hmm. is it Netflix or Blockbuster? Right now, it's kind of Netflix. Like, I'm enjoying. Oh, okay. Stuff. All right. So now the first clip we have is from the infamous BGL on Red Bar stream. Mm -hmm which unfortunately we all had to tune into a certain YouTube channel to watch it, right? I, honestly, I did kind of laugh, because I don't know Unique at all, and everyone hates him. This is the first time me hearing him. Yeah. I knew he was like the guy that had the video shot ruining his life. Yeah. But um, it was making me laugh every <laughs> once in a while when he's like, ask him about the YouTube. <laughs> he kept doing it, and by like the third or fourth time, I was like, okay, I'm kind of thinking this is funny. <laughs> yeah. Ask him about showing YouTube again. Okay? <laughs> It made me laugh. I'm yeah. just being honest. But uh, it's from Rogan and Shorty Pipe. Uh, it's called Everything You Need to Know About the Red Bar Bush Waiter Interview. Okay. Trend. I want to give you one so. more chance. You know, talking bad about them could really help your career. You know, you really don't have many options left here after you're being fired for them. This could make you a big star. You know, they got a lot of enemies, enough enemies to support you for life. I'm going to ask you again. Is there anything you can think of? Uh-huh. Something juicy. Something good. It can't just be, you know, Brendan, he's kind of mean to me during the work. Something good that could be in the papers. A headline. Can you think of anything? This well, is going to be your last chance here. Yeah, I, 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 I'm I, going to have to put all that information in my own video. There you go. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, hello, Mark Carly. We'll Thank you for your, your bravery. And we are awaiting your video. We hope you've got some... Uh, more dirt than that. Little belittling to have him on the phone. Because I just listened to the audio. Yeah. I didn't realize that he held up the phone like that. Yeah. Kind of a power move. So Harley is saying that he may have his own video coming out where he's going to dish some, or he's going to do a real big dish. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder. I also like, I like the end of that where he's like, you know, this is the end of the line for you. <laughs> you have nothing yeah. going on. Yeah. Say something bad because you got nothing else. That made me laugh because I like seeing Mark kind of troll it a little bit, you know? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. The whole, I don't know. Mark, I don't know if he has anything other than, we all know that Brendan's a mush mouth. You know what I mean? 
Right. Well, he just said the cheating. That's yeah. about, that's about it. That's what I've heard. This one's from Haphazard. Uh, it's called The Ghost of Theo Continues to Haunt the Show. That kind of shit I can't stand. It's got to make sense. I know. All right. Well, did the aliens put that, that balloon over Montana? Everything's they gone. took it down. Yeah. Oh shit! It was it fucking does. King of the Sting stuff. He said it made him sad. It makes me sad. I got. I, I, I can see the fucking past. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I got Theo looking at me, and I have to be sad because he <laughs> betrayed us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gonna be he on the asked, blogs. <laughs> he asked me to come in so he could leave, and we realize that now. <laughs> <laughs> this was his whole plan. All right. Uh, <laughs> I, kind I don't of shit understand I can't stand. what the inside joke make, is with the voice. Yeah. But I do think it's funny that Theo gadouched them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He said goodbye because he's on, he's way funnier than all of you and he's on to better things. <laughs> and you knew that. There's no way you didn't know that. So this one's again posted by Haphazard. It's called, are they taking submissions directly from Chang's now? CT is real. Uh, Brendan confused Tropic Thunder, the movie with the store hot topic. This was from a couple of years oh, ago. Oh, wow. We got to see this. I was telling uh, a couple of kids stealing some stuff at Tropic Thunder. Oh, yeah. Like, like, to play. Oh, <laughs> I've done that before. I think you've done it on Golden Hour. He did it He did it on Golden Hour, but this way he did it switch. He was trying to reference yes. hot topic, yep. and he called it I Tropic remember that. Thunder. <laughs> no, but on this show. Yeah, on on the other trying, one. On this show. He's talking about Tropic Thunder. It's it a hot, hot topic. topic. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> wow, <laughs> hey, CT dude. is real, bro. Oh, Tropic Thunder. Oh yeah, like what? You got it. Oh, let's do that. Call it hot topic. I call it Tropic Thunder. Caught it myself. Caught it myself. Don't do that. Caught it myself. That's fine. Don't. Now you didn't catch yourself here at Golden Hour. No, no, you guys caught me. Want you to not do that anymore. Switch it back and forth. Yeah, it, you know what it topic is? Topic Thunder, Hot Topic. It's, it's just, it's, hot Topic, Topic Thunder. It's not even another movie you're community. No, you're it's a store. It it's a fucking with store. With a movie, a comedy movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want them to keep doing stuff like that, but it just gets progressively worse and worse. Like, <laughs> Brendan thought the the microwave was a toaster. And he put bread in it, turned the studio. Remember when you turned the studio on fire? Yeah. <laughs> just like it gets. Brendan thought that a moving car was a, a mailbox. <laughs> it's like it just gets worse and worse. It's dangerous. <laughs> I hope they keep it up. Yeah. Show all of please. I hope I want the golden hour to just be a uh, redact clips of Brendan doing things <laughs> wrong. Brendan doing stuff wrong is Netflix every time. <laughs> all right. So this next one's posted by Haphazard again. It's uh, called the cracks in the facade are finally starting to show. The picture, of course. <laughs> the the thing about him is he Pete is famous and he was famous before he started dating women, but Pete got famous because of dating yeah. from Kim. Yeah. K- oh, it's like a thing now, Kim but Leonardo DiCaprio was famous because of acting. Yeah. So it's a little different. Oh, he's one of the greatest actors of the generation. Brennan, this is not, we know, dude, I'm saying <laughs> he comes from a different era though. Yeah. 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 No, no, but peep right now. Is- <laughs> Getting mad at Brennan is hilarious. Yeah. Just cause you can't take it anymore. You're there with him for an hour and he just says, we're, redacted thing after redacted thing and you're just like enough <laughs> you have to pay attention to the words you're, you can't just say the first thing think yeah. about it yeah. you freaking dog <laughs> you dog brain idiot all right so this next one from haphazard is uh, called he takes it so serious that he almost didn't pick his nose on camera uh, come out like willie beeman oh i'm sorry i take my job serious <laughs> i'm sorry so- shab is the joke would interrupt why ooh, so serious? Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Welcome to the Golden Hour. My name is Eric Griffin. And this is Brendan Shaw. But that's Chris Delia. Welcome to um, another. Is this a. I mean, I don't know if I'd watch a podcast if everyone regular. was just in sweats. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> what what, what I don't would that know. have to do with the podcast? I don't know. I wonder if Shab watches podcasts. You know, most people listen. I know people are watching this on YouTube. Yeah. I don't know if I watch a podcast. I, and as he's, he, he's not into sweats. He was wearing sweats in that other one. The, what is it? Diet starts Monday thing. Oh yeah. yeah. That's all sweats. Mm-hmm. It's another, and, and any of any size moment. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this one is, uh, again, from haphazard. It's called the assault on Chris is escalating. It goes to show you never know what's going never on. Never know, people. bro. Never know. <laughs> you never know. What's so going what are you going to do with the car now? 
Uh, I got a new car guy that used to be business partners with Greg. All right, I, I need to talk to that guy. Yeah, yeah. can you hit? Yeah, can you hit yeah, me? Yeah, up yeah, 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 I got you guys. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I stressed sell, out. I, I want to sell my Jags. Cars. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah. I don't need seven Ferraris. We yeah. got to do something. Right? Let's go start. Yeah, I mean, no, no, you're not right. I don't have seven God. Ferraris. You might, but um, no, I don't want that. No, I know. I well, because you're trying to make money. <laughs> a large part of Shab's comedy is uh, uh, touching people next to him. Yeah. You know, and like Callen, uh, Dalia, Griffin. He just loves that. He thinks that's so funny to be like, hey, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> this, right. is, this is what gay people do, isn't it? <laughs> okay, We're, Mr. Whole Foods. Okay. Pico de Gallo. <laughs> Again, we got another haphazard clip. It's called, How Would Anyone Get Confused While Using This? It'll make the illusion. Oh, they're not actually the in the water. Uh huh. <laughs> But yeah, they don't they don't get freaked out at all anymore. They did I did I I will say they did at first, but yeah. Yeah, they're probably terrified. That's still pretty That's badass. A lot of stress on a fish. Here's my problem. Uh, if I'm taking a hot shit, yeah. I can't see the fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want it in front of me. <laughs> and the shirt says dicey. Is that oh, big boy merch? What? I didn't even notice that. That's a good shirt right there. It sure says dicey. <laughs> That's some good thick boy merch. Oh my God. Yeah. Wow. He wants to, he's balls deep in fish and at any moment he's got to see him. So the hammer, the, the flower horn, you know, even, even if he's taking a shit. Let's see the rest somewhere else. Let's see the rest. Oh, yes, sure. I guess. Yeah. But that doesn't look if good. The top of it doesn't look good. Well, I get peeing. confused. I'd shit in the tank. <laughs> There was a guy who but shit in the tank. I mean, when you were younger, the CTE oh, is yeah, strong. Yeah, How could was, you be in danger of pooping in the fish tank? It went from uh, somewhat funny to very redacted. Yeah, yeah. He's going to upper deck his own fish tank. I don't think that's a, a fear many people have. <laughs> All right. So this is another one posted by Haphazard. It's called He's Just Like Those Spotted Dogs. Okay. I like the title, it's very uh, ambiguous. I'm so nervous. Oh, my my my, 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 my nuts my are up into my stomach. Ugh. My assholes. Good luck getting in there, baby. Let me see it. What? Okay. Let me make sure. Let me loosen things There's up. There's spots. Oh, uh, you're all hopefully, puckered. Hope you like spots. You're puckered. Nink on, nink on. No, That's good luck. Oh my god. <laughs> really, dude. Enjoy the. Sp you like Dalmatians? Dalmatians. Hold on. Psoriasis. <laughs> Hold on. I know Brian's gonna say. Psoriasis. Say that again. You like Dalmatians? <laughs> Psoriasis. Let's hear it one more time. Dalmatians. I'm gonna give you another chance, fourth time. No? Think about it. What is it? Oh, you, you're, you, English is your first language. Oh. I need no, you. Uh, no, no, no. See, see, see. Bueno, <laughs> bueno. I, no, I'm not from this country. You talking about the dog with spots? <laughs> no. What are you thinking? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> Say it for me, so I can hear it. Let me see what if you're thinking. The well, same you said thing. Dalmatian, because you said you have spots. Dalmatians. That's what I said. Oh, Dalmatian. Do you, how, how do you say it? Dalmatian. Dalmatian. That's what I said. Don't say what Dalmatian. You, oh, you're talking about the dog? A dal Dude, that'd be I'll animation. Say. You're confusing. You're mixing animation. Let it play. Let it play. Dal I guess if a da Dalmatian was animated, it'd be a, a Dalmatian. Doll. No, it's if a it's a Dalmatian. <laughs> right. Dude, what, I'm, wanna, I'm thinking of a doll. Right. That's animated. Got it. It's a Dalmatian. Got it. My bad. You're talking about the dog? That's right. No, no, no. Oh, this, that would make sense. The reference makes sense because so, dogs so have spots. You, yeah, you no, I'm talking I about meant, a spotted doll oh, what that's that, animated. So do Wait a minute. Oh, my God, dude. I that feel like I've lost IQ clip. points right now. For, the first thing I thought was pause it, get on the phone with your agent, get Brennan Schaub as a judge on the Westminster Dog Show <laughs> so he can just mess up all the dog names. Yeah. Right now we have the – I can't even think of what the the – the Wainer, we have Wainer dogs, and then we have the uh, Russ Russell Terriers, and the yeah. the this is the 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 uh, Labrador. I mean, it would be amazing. The Rodweiler, the Rodweiler. <laughs> we should go through all the dog names. <laughs> but yeah, but then he's like doing a bit where he's like, I didn't mess it up. It's actually Dollimation, which is a doll with spots on it and all this. This is like kindergarten level brain functionality, you know, yeah. it's like, yeah, the it, teacher has left the class. Yeah. This, this is uh, not being able to taste what lemon is. Yeah. Uh, a segment of the podcast. Let's see. Dalmatian. Uh, what? Dalmatian. There you go. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Hello, and, and what is that car yes. that's really expensive made in England by <laughs> hand? Ambulance the studio? Bentley. What's the other one? Uh, not a Royals Roy's. <laughs> Rolls Royce. Yeah. Not that. Not a Royals Royce. There you go. But a yes. Rolls Royce. Well, dude, <laughs> see, you're not in the club. Royale. Like, 
You probably call a cheeseburger like the rest of the sheep call it a cheeseburger. Yeah. I call it a Royale with cheese. Got it. I see. So you're you're adding in other languages. You know what it is? It's for the one percent. It's for the Europeans. <laughs> no, I talk to us. hey. I talk for the one percent. No, no, I know. I appreciate that. Royals Royce. Right. Your royalty. Royals Royce. A nation. Yep. This is a video I'm this is uh you know, watching him and knowing that he has a Royal a Rolls Royce. I almost said Royals Royce because he said it. <laughs> Knowing that he has a car like that, it uh, it makes me think that there's no, there really is no ethical consumption under capitalism. You yeah. Know? How could somebody that stupid, yeah, reach the point where they can afford that kind of stuff? <laughs> Shouldn't be the way. <laughs> we're we're sitting here recording this in our parents' basement. All right. So this next one's posted by Haphazard. Again, it's called "This Is What They Think About Their Fans." It's a golden hour clip. I opinion. Yeah. <laughs> See, when women did, they don't like when they start feeling like, oh, it's not happening. They start setting up a new camp. Yep. Yeah. Right? <laughs> While they're with you, so they can make an easy transition. They're already recruiting. Yeah. Yeah. It's already mid like, season. And by the way, I already do. It's like anytime you hear a girl talking about a dude, mm. oh, this is this guy I work with. If they mention him more Game than two over. times, <laughs> even once, that's the dude. Okay. <laughs> that's funny. You keep hitting the table. It's making me furious. Yeah. Well, He's still he mad. But here's the deal, though. Yeah, can I have some emotion what? sometimes? Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but hold on. commented on the banging at the table. Oh, oh sorry. That's oh. all good. Yeah. That's when Eric's <laughs> doing a hot take. <laughs> Zoom in on me right now for the people that are talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about my emotions and feelings, okay? He got cheated on. Hold yeah. on. So, okay. She told him. My opinion. Oh, my God. <laughs> the su- yeah, the subtext is always like... Uh, See, the thing is, women are stupid. <laughs> and Chubb's like, yeah, yeah. Yep. And Delia's like, I could list, I could go for days about this time. <laughs> All right, well, we, now we're on to Rogan and Shorty Pie clips here. Uh, it's Bapa discusses strict carnivore while drinking Diet Coke. The subject of cutting people out of his life resurfaces. But, but so you do an elimination diet. There's no doubt that diet helps with your Big psoriasis. Time. No fucking doubt. I saw instant... Decline in yes. spots when I went carnivore, and then I was like, I can have just a little. They think it's a gut issue, but stress. Your gut is affected by stress. Yes. Your gut is affected by whatever. Of course, there's an incongruity in your life. I have a whole idea about that. There's a yeah. miss. That's okay. We all have it. Oh yeah. And you know that your body's just saying, "Hey, bro, get let's get back to get your shit on track." Right. That's all. That's yeah. okay. And and cut uh, some people out of your life. Who's whatever it is, you know, it's all just tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell yeah. the truth. That's it. Just tell that. That's. If I can say anything to anybody who's young, just fucking tell the truth and do things for people because it's the right thing to do. That's it. Well, I do things for people. I have spots. Yes. Yeah. Well, y- y- your your spots are. The truth is not doing what I need to do to run a business. All of that, of course. Yes. There's there's probably look. It's fucking hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's all hard. It's like it's like you're gonna fail all the time. It, you know. It's like and you make mistakes and then we all we take shortcuts because we don't want to deal with that over there. We don't want to hurt this person. We don't want to. It's fucking. You know, I know. Then you get spots. And yep. then you can't have cookies anymore. You're- what? I don't know. It's hard to pay attention because he keeps rubbing his leg. Yeah. And, it ta- you know, it takes your eyes off of the. And then Brian's doing this whole, like, tell the truth thing. It's like, oh, wow. I mean, if Brian's saying that, am I not supposed to tell the truth? Yeah, right. He's trying to do this, like, grind set, you know, talking to young people, advice thing. It's like, I don't want advice from you. I don't want to be selling $700 flip-flops. Yeah. And have, like, investigations out of me. Also, I like how they're saying tell the truth, and but they're being very like ambiguous about what they're actually talking about at the same time. They're like, you know, cut people out of your life. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you know, it's running. We're running a business, <laughs> but they won't talk about the details of all those. Yeah, things. they won't say who. Is yeah. it Mark? All right, so here I'm we go. Kidding. This is another one. It's posted by Playful Wolverine ninety five. It's called Two Grand. I'll slap my wife. B. Back and then a little spidey scent went ding. Oh, you got scammed. Fuck, you got. Scammed. I told my grandma, don't send me any money. We're not getting our money back. We got scammed. She's like, no. I'm like, do not communicate with them. They got you. They got you. And I slapped her. Good scam. <laughs> what? I slapped her. What? Two grand, bitch. <clears throat> I- I'd love to see you try to slap Joanna. She'd fucking count She would so fuck fast. me up. Yeah. It wouldn't be a Chris Rock, Will Smith thing. She oh, would no, go. No. I'd have my hands full. She would fucking, oh, dude. I have a handful. Hands full. Savage, yeah. She wouldn't Strong. Fucking- Strong yeah, she'd, she'd give it dicey, back. Good, dicey. Yeah. good. I'd knock her out, but yeah, right. sure. Dicey shirt. <laughs> no, I like your. I like. No, we're having fun on the show, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, I'd knock you and her out, right? Hey. Right? Uh, right. That's the world we live in, right? Hey, hey. That's the right. <laughs> because that's the. It's just physics. That's the law of physics. It's just physics, that's right? Law of physics? I'll kill you right now. That's and like, I want like, to, and that shows like, you how far I've come in third. Wow. Oh my god. I like it. This shirt orange part matches the little part on his shoe. 
that's orange. Yeah. You know, he's still doing that. Look at this. Look at that little orange thing. Yeah. At, at like in his forties. <laughs> I'm not, you know, I gave that up in high school <laughs> or like shortly after high school. And, and then it's funny that he would take that joke. He'd make that joke after Dana White. He made a big deal out of all that. Yeah. You know, Dana White slapping his, uh, his wife. Bapa has no self-awareness as usual. He's, he said that he would slap his wife and use her as a human shield <laughs> to save his children. Somebody check in on Joanna. Somebody check in on Mexican, okay? <laughs> yeah. Make sure she's okay. All right, so this next one's called, I always thought Swartzen's Italian Lego was a whiff dud of a roast joke, but apparently it was iconic for lids and sklob, posted by Rogan and Shorty Pie. <laughs> Let's see what this is about. Nick Swartzen was there. I posted a picture of him flipping me off. Nick picture. Swartzen was there because he was doing somewhere, and uh, then they reached out to him. We're like, hey, you want to you do uh Look at him. Look at him. He's so great. The Italian Lego. What? How about your Viking suck ass, though? Boom. How about you look like a fucking Italian Lego, dude? <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> <laughs> God, dog. Like, didn't Chris Swartzen call you an Italian Lego? Yeah. <laughs> Chris Dude, Swartzen. Uh, I mean, Nick, Nick Swartzen. Swartzen. You talking about your friend I'm that so you did a show with? I'm Chris so, Swartzen? God, I love him, though. I love Nick. Here's the oh. thing. <laughs> you Italian Lego. I like that. Nope, that's somebody else's. I know, but I stole it. I stole it. I'm a thief. They commissioned human <laughs> slap fighting. You out of your mind? <laughs> DC. <laughs> Daniel Cormier. How dare you? Dude, all the clips should be like that thing. That's yeah. hilarious. The ending is so funny. Great. Look at his stupid face. That's amazing. Oh, oh that man, was great. Great work. Great yeah. work. The end is so funny. Italian it made me forget. Lego. Italian Lego has a good disc, yes. but it made me, the ending with his funny looking face made me forget all of that. <laughs> That's the important stuff. Yeah. You know? Uh, all right. So this next one's called Bapa Lost His Lion Tamer. You look like a redacted insert now and here opener, David Lucas. Diddler mentions Michael Inochi and inst instinctively checks his phone. Posted by Rogan is Shorty Pie. Let's see what this is. Well, yeah. uh, Dave, shout out to David Lucas. He's been with me for over two years now. He's headlined on his own. Oh, yeah. cool. He hit me up today. He was like, hey, man, I can't make Naples. I was like, that's the third week I'm going to make. He's like, because wow. I sold out San Jose last week one night. He did? Yeah, he's yeah. like, he, he's been doing one nights and selling them out. Oh, he's like, dude, awesome, he's like, bro. let me know what I can do. I'm like, hold up. Don't apologize. This is how yeah. it should work, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, your yeah. thick ass just flew out of the nest. Yeah, yeah. Go make money. Give me 10%. Yeah. Uh, that's so cool. <laughs> that's so cool. And Nochi's starting to do his own shit too. I fucking love that. That's the goal, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's tough. It's bittersweet, dude, because you like going to the road with those. Oh, we had so shit. much fun, man. I'm bummed yeah. out. Yeah. Bummed yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know. Because first but, it was Chappelle, and then Chappelle moved on mm -hmm, headline. Mm -hmm. Now David Lucas, he mm -hmm, moved on headlining. Mm -hmm. So. The, um, but getting back to this. <laughs> hey, Eric's like, can we get out of this territory? Yeah, he's real like, quick? nobody no, get, no. goes on a headline for me. <laughs> Or he just doesn't want to go into yeah. the title of the clip. Yeah. And neither do I. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this one's from Rogan and Shorty Pie again. Very uh, believable account of how gross Scoob is. Otherwise, it's just another unfunny lie that does nothing but make him look bad. All right. Let's see what this is about. I, I, I use the towel to my girl switches it out. It might yeah. be two I do, weeks old. Yeah. Yeah. I do two or three. I don't, three I'm like, I don't care. Two or three. Unless there's a streak out or something. You know, it happens from time to time. Yeah. <laughs> right, two or three. And I told her, I said, bitch, I not, told you. This means you're not No white properly. towels. No white Make sure the a brown streak on a towel? <laughs> right. Yeah. If you that never happens. Yeah. If that's happening to you and you're watching this, get help. It's happened to me a couple times. Yeah. You got a streak on a bath towel yeah how do you ever never use white towels um come to think of it no yeah see use white towels with block bussa you know what i mean but like don't you use it after the shower yeah but also to use it after the shower but sometimes you don't get up in there i don't know how often you're in your butthole i mean i i mean i don't think anyone wants to know <laughs> i'll just say I keep it clean <laughs> all right let's see the rest of this Come, Come out of your shower and there's a shit stain. Sometimes you didn't is wash. The, is the water even on? Yeah, he just stands in there. Sometimes it's tough, bro. Yeah. You get that doogie stain. Like, well, well, this I'm towel's broke. It. it happened hey. to me once recently where I was surprised. I'm not saying this happens all the time. but it Shab did, yeah. Yeah. Neither a good look. Neither a good look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it did happen to me recently and I was not happy about it. You really want to be the Eric Griffin in this clip. Yeah. Say nothing. Yeah. 
Okay, so this one's again from Rogan and Shorty Pie. Classic narcissistic double standard. Bapa hates when other drivers use their phones if the Chombies are riding with him. <laughs> then says he's done long emails while driving, but it's okay since his kids weren't with him. <laughs> All right, so we got a contradiction in this one here. It drives me nuts. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> triggering for me. What is it? If I see somebody on their phone, I'm in the car. I'm in the car with my kids. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I will fight you, dude. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's nuts. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Yeah. Autonomous like, what, what are you scrolling Twitter? We have 30 followers. Get the fuck off yeah, your phone. It's weird. There's more followers. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Going 80 miles an hour to get a tweet. I mean, I've, not, actually, I've actually, uh, yeah, I've, I, I've done. What's the worst thing you've done while driving on your phone? Oh. I've sent emails and shit like long. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I've purchased that was shit my kids on in the car. Oh, wow. That's a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I've actually. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't trust Baba driving with or without texting. Yeah, you know, he shouldn't be behind the ve the wheel of a vehicle at all. He's too redacted. Yeah, the kids shouldn't be in the car with him. <laughs> Somebody should probably be help raising the kids. <laughs> it's like a flashback too for Baba because he, when he sees somebody on their phone, he's thinking of that time he had to pull the little kid out and be like, "Hey, have you seen Moana? You yeah, know, or Moana?" So he's reliving that every time. Uh. So hard. Hard. Hard to deal with. Hard to deal with. All right, so this one is, again, Rogan and Shorty Pie. It's called Diddler Perks Up When He Hears About Bill Gates Being Rich Enough to Not Care What People th Know. He went to Epstein <laughs> Island a bunch of times. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, it's like, Bill, it's like uh, Bill Gates when they're like, that report goes, hey, you went to uh, Jeff Epstein's Island 38 times? He goes, yeah. Do you have anything to say about it? He goes, I don't know what to say about it. But you're not. <laughs> is that real? Yeah, that's real. It's like, he's like, I'm Bill Gates. Like, yeah, I was there. Fuck it. What do you want me to do? What are you going to do? I'm a billionaire. What are you going to do, bitch? So, and then everyone's like, okay, next question. He's like, yeah, next. Mm, Bill, Gates. Bill Gates. Next question. Dude, imagine if he did that. <laughs> 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 just they just see the world completely different all right well this next one's uh again from rogan and shorty pie it's called brenda displays some of his top-notch calmatic riffing so let's see what this is about it looks like a lebron james wow look at his finger kareem's finger can i oh, yeah hold on what's going on there oh it's the size of our dick that looks like an, uh, an, a witch's cane that's, that's incredible <laughs> so how, how about post post game that's a magical finger that finger's just good that might put a curse on him <laughs> I would, i'd be like I why agree. are you pointing at me that's it that finger why, why does it look like a twig you'd find in like hiking your finger <laughs> is gonna cut you're you're casting a spell on me with that finger. Excuse I don't me, trust sir, that. Is finger. your finger a turd? Um, <laughs> and then you see his finger and it's totally straight after yeah. that. Like, whoa, what the <laughs> fuck? But, All right, so let me ask you, Brendan. Yeah. What's better, that finger being a witch's cane or a turd? Witch's cane. Witch's cane is great. A turd? The turd was bad. I kind of like the, to be honest, I thought the twig thing is kind of funny. Yeah. His finger does look strange. This might be the, uh, the one moment of the day where a broken clock is right or twice yeah. a day. Yeah. And, it's, and it's one of Shab's decent takes. The turd thing is a little dicey dicey because yeah. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is black. And well, he's, he's wearing a, a dicey shirt B. Yeah, he's right. He's in the mode. He's in dicey <laughs> he's mode. He's in dicey okay? mode, dude. He's going to call black fingers poop. <laughs> That's just going to happen. You put on the dicey shirt, she's going to say some stuff. Yeah. All right. His uh. shirt matches his shoes. <laughs> All right. So this one is again, Rogan is shorty pie. It's called a side effect of barn doors addiction. We'll see what this is. About. Do you know what you would? Also you know what, dead. You know what you would become addicted to, and I mean, you have an addictive personality. Cock. Whatever you do, <laughs> that that if you got it proper, if you got it proper, the proper cock in my if mouth. You got it proper. Yep. <laughs> uh, morning sex will be made. You, you, I can't anymore. When I was younger, it was my favorite, dude. My favorite. The problem is you got that dick breath. I wake up, my breath smells like fucking hot. What's with your breath? It's your breath, you idiot. You I know, but my girl has to. I'm trying to kiss her, and I got fucking. <laughs> Dick breath. Are y'all doing morning sex? Dick breath. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say anymore. Yeah. Why does he keep doing it? It's yeah. not funny. Someone tell this idiotic meathead to stop it. You know, it would be funny if he was an experienced blower. You know what I mean? Yeah, if he actually... Somebody in his life has got to sit him down and be like, Hey, man, you got to stop these stupid fucking jokes about... Yeah. Being gay. Yeah. They're not funny and they're homophobic and you're a moron. Yeah. Stop. And Stop your meathead bullshit. At least the frequency of it. It's like, it's never funny it's if you do it all the time. It's never been funny ever. Yeah. It never will be funny. Hey, you're kind of odd. I think we may be gay. Right? 
That's like his crowd work. <laughs> Look at this guy in the front. What might suck his cock? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Stop it. All right. So this Moron. one's again, Rogan and Shorty Pie. It gets funnier every time, Scoob. That's why your views are skyrocketing. Let's see here. In the, uh, as far as longevity, a career in 25 uh, years, uh, there's never been a better athlete period than LeBron James over wow. 25 years. Wow. He's right. He's like, so the argument that Mike Jordan's the best of all time, for sure. For those eight years, there's not a better basketball player on the planet. But as far as over time, it's LeBron. And he's uh, right. Uh, my question, though, always to those guys is this. Whose dick's bigger? If you had, I, I don't know about that, but if you had. Uh, MJ. Really? That's what I heard. We're going to peace. Dick, 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 dick. <laughs> How many dicks is that? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Good choice for our last clip. Bob, oh, you don't want you anymore? Cannot, no, no. I'm saying for like oh. the, and the editing, oh, like yeah, the yeah, yeah. Um, Reservoir Dogs thing. Yeah, yeah. No, no. We got more because we got a lot of clips this week. There's a lot of shit happening with BGL stuff, but right. you all know, these clips. Yeah, you know I'm a numbers guy. Baby. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm you know per capita. I'm down. I mean per capita, dude. Number one podcast talking about dick is uh, T Fat K. Maybe. All right. So this next one is posted by Rogan and Shorty Pie again, called Tom about ownership of failure in relation to tennis greats. Then it gets oddly specific. Make your own inferences. Lopez <laughs> underwear. <laughs> underwear. Let's see. They're so fucking good. Yeah. And when you see people playing them, they've trained. They train. Oh, they life. work so hard. They're six they're five. They go together. They, yeah. They're playing. They're hitting the ball. Don't and know. then somehow, somehow, even with a foot injury, that fucking dog comes back from two two. But so much down. better they are at tennis than you. And you just see them. You yeah. see the best in the world go like this. The guys who's number four. Ownership. Complete. Brian, and he goes complete like this. He goes, ownership. He, goes, he, goes, he just goes. Yeah, he complete goes like this, ownership. Like, he's sitting in his chair like this, and he's like, I, I couldn't. Yeah. I took all the ownership. Yeah, I could, but it's so funny not to take ownership. It's so funny. I can't. It does work though. Like to Jocko's credit, like you know, I have to run a business, and when things mess up, and you know it's not your fault, and you're dealing with you know whoever YouTube or Bent Pixels, and they're like, "What happened with this?" And if you're just like, "That's on me," the team goes, "Oh, thank God, he took the brunt of it." It's his business. He takes the brunt of it. You so the, the people feel better about it. Well, wait, wait, like, like stuff so to do. Because if you know somebody fucked up, you want to be like, no, no, no. I know. Hey, dude, I told you to post no. that last week. You're like, oh, I forgot. And if you go, that's Hit, on me. Unpack it. Unpack that's it. That's like, on me. Unpack it like this. That's on me. If the thumbnails suck, if the clips suck, if people aren't watching, you, you, there might be a thousand reasons. At the end of the day, nobody out there cares. No. What they don't, nobody cares. Bottom line. All that matters is are. Are the numbers there and are people listening or watching or buying your product or whatever it might be? That's all that matters. What's the same with that? He's what? right. He's right, though. What, or what were you going to say? What is going on, dude? He's right when he says that, you know, the work that Serena Williams put into winning all those Grand Slams is very similar to making the right kind of uh, thumbnail for yeah. YouTube. So I don't have... <laughs> It's just, uh, yeah, what are we doing? How did you get from tennis to talking about your boring-ass numbers? Lopez. That's on, yeah, who cares? Dude. That why was, are you still talking about this? I know we've been recording for a while today. My fucking brain hurts, dude. Yeah, there's been a lot of redacted stuff that we have to, this is like exposing our, watching clips like this all the time, and we don't watch as much as the other chefs, but watching this kind of stuff, is like working in a power plant and being near yeah. potentially radiation. Yeah. It is dangerous, and we all need to realize that. We are doing this for fun, mm -hmm. but there could be repercussions, B, if yeah. you're watching this right now, even you watching this right now. And you know what, dude? You got to look at the chefs long and hard. Mm -hmm. Thank them, dude. I thank them all, but the ones I, I really care about are the ones on the Patreon, Cheap Hardware, um, ASW, Hap just joined, um, Natalie. Yeah. Um, all those are, and all the other people that I get, don't remember, but uh, those are the ones I care about. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we got the last clip for today, dude. Thank fucking Ooh, God. Dude. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We've done a lot. Uh, uh, my head hurts. <laughs> Bapa's in fine form today, a nonsensical caveat use, a CT flare, a drawl, and a Mount Maniscalco all in under 25 seconds posted by Rogan and Shorty Pie. <laughs> Let's see here. So my problem is they're on the phones. Number two is that um, they're in Jordans, right? And then my third caveat there was, I forget now, and I'm trying to draw this out, uh -huh. but I had another problem with this picture. Oh, <coughs> Jeez. this was the third quarter. They stopped the game. And they're in 13th place. They need this win. They lost. The Mascalco thing was the end. Are you 
Aren't oh. you embarrassed? <laughs> they stopped the game. Oh my god! I got on Gina. Nobody. All right, I'll stop doing Madden School Cool. But yeah, I don't. I didn't understand that clip, but I did like that it had LeBron James in it because uh, Rogan and Shorty Pie is probably the LeBron James of uh, the subreddit. <laughs> yeah. God, dog, another Rogan and Shorty Pie clip. I can't believe that dude makes so many clips, and they're all so Netflix, dude. Yeah. So. That's the show. One thing I do want to say on an earlier episode, I talked about the guy that does the TFAT K stuff. We watched like a clip where Bob is a fish. That guy sucks ass. I hate those clips. They're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> so goodbye. See you next week. <laughs>